today's episode. How do you do, Winter Papa? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So, today I've been up quite early to go online and check out the new stuff from H and M. And the thing is, so I went online and I checked out, and everything I wanted is conversnod, which means coming soon. Even though it's now to eleven, so. The only thing I want, like the seamless tights you can buy, the only thing that I wanted that I could buy was this weekend bag. And that's a good thing because it's sold out. Isn't that fantastic? So now I'm going to get on my bike and go into the city centre. I need to go out anyway to buy uh, groceries. So I thought I'd go in there, check out if there are any of the clothes. Because last week when I bought... There was stuff here that you couldn't buy online, but they were still in the stores. I need that one. And I need those shoes. Then I'll be quite happy. Oh, and I need that sweatshirt. People, take a bike ride. A Reich bite. So here I go, people. This is the shop, H&M Man, where I found Boyega clothes last week. Hopefully they have something here. No, they didn't have it. They have... Uh... They said that the store on Queen Street might have it, so I'm going there. Otherwise, I don't know what's up. So nothing on the store on dropping off, and I'm going to go to the one last one. The one last one. Yes, the one last one. Okay, people, so I found them, and they all were already sold out. But I got this one on layaway. Tomorrow I can pick it up. I'm so glad. Look at this clothes. They are fantastic. I got two of these. One is medium and one is large for me and Ulf. I think he will be a medium in this. And as always, the women's clothes are more fun. Look at that. <laughs> that is just a scarf. Fantastic. This is vegan leather. A vest. Oh, these are chenille. Oh, these are... Wait a minute. These two for me and oh, if he's got a medium and I got a large. Really, really big. So people, it's time for lunch. Where? Where, where? Oh, where shall I go? Also, I had a big lot of, I've been shopping so much that I have these discounts. So two sweatshirts, it would have been 300 Swedish crowns. No, 600 Swedish crowns. One of those were Ulf's. I paid 48. Swedish crowns, four dollars for two sweatshirts. That would have been sixty dollars. Great. People, lunch will be in here. It's a vegan restaurant that I'm so glad survived the corona. Oh, and I know that woman over there. Great. Her name is Ida, and this is a great place. On what? What's the name of the street? I can't remember. It's on Sir. So I'm having lunch at a place called Giga Food on Sir in Stockholm. I'm having soup and sandwich. And this is the proprietor, Ida, making my sandwich. This is a really great place. Everything is vegan. Everything is nice. So I'm having soup and sandwich. And this place is really, really nice. This sandwich is so good. That sandwich was so good, I could, I could eat it. That was so good. People, we are about to meet Ulf. We are about, we are about to meet Ulf at his work when I'm going to leave him that sweatshirt. And since last we saw him, or since last I was here, I think, or maybe not. Yes, well, he's been made boss. He would have, I mean, he should have worked at Ikea or somewhere. But anyway, we are going in of where he works now, of this special department. So he's got a large office. And of course, what that is, entails is that he needs to buy stuff and uh, fix up his room. He's so interested in his surroundings. So here he is. Oh, in the new nice it's office. It's not ready. It looks no. well, it looks really nice. Yeah, it is. Get all this stuff away. Yeah. This room looked bigger before. Looks bigger now. Bigger before. You think? Yeah. This is it's cozier now, but 
I've seen it, I like it, I've left a shirt and I'm now leaving. A really dirty. Yes. Oh, and he's gonna. I've got an, a gift as well. I'm gonna get it later on. Goodbye. So, people, it's a lovely autumn day, and this is as high as the sun is gonna get today. So, and it's, it'll only get worse till it turns. some cooking and some choosing of clothes to wear to the opening night but you sort of you will always go around it so this is it not fantastic but then again I'm just the audience so I'm just going to go in there sort of and wear my jacket and then go to my seat and then get up so this is it this is it this time I know it's the real thing I don't know what I'm feeling anyway I'm going to go into the city now because I'm going to meet Christian at half past five and I need to eat something first. Yes, food, food, food. So, and I will also go over to this account now. So join me there if you want to see what um, showbiz in Sweden is like. So this hamburger joint is where I'm going to get my vegan hamburgers and fries and coke and stuff. Sen den där killen. Mm. <laughs> Man känner överallt Sitter då alla på den gamla uppsättningen av Saturday Night Fever 2005 på Oscarsteatern Vad roligt Och så ber vi er att stänga av Vad ställde vi bilarna? Cyklarna? Ja, bilarna, så här bilarna är borta. <laughs> Okay, people, I just said goodbye to Christian and I did some live things talking about the show and now I'm on my way home to start writing about the show. <sighs> I had a great time in the end and the uh, bows, they did this sort of 
medley of music and we were on the balcony and I could feel the whole balcony sort of like vibrating and I was sort of oh what's going to happen nothing happened so and it was really funny we had they did uh, Saturday Night Fever here in Stockholm 2005 and the, uh, the whole cast well a lot of that cast was in front of me and they were sort of they had they had a fantastic time it was so nice seeing them and then I loved the costumes the sets the choreography it's dance 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 I just realized I'm a man in desperate search for a collection with a face that I haven't woken up yet oh god This is today's episode. How do you do it? So today the weather looks kind of fantastic. Do you feel that I'm really good at explaining things? Because I feel I'm great. I should be a teacher. I can really inspire people and I'm clear and concise and people just sort of oh I get it. Yes, he's fantastic. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.